Hello, hello, and welcome back. Today I'll be demonstrating the different mods that you can use to make your game look better. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for future content. If you have any questions, come join me while I'm live on Twitch. Link is in the description. First, we'll start off with reshades. There are lots of reshades out there, so I'll only cover the popular ones. Reshades are purely subjective, so you may need to look around for one that you like. I'll be rating each reshade off objective factors like performance and difficulty to install, instead of what I think of them, as like mentioned, you may not share the same opinion. First reshade is Hippo's reshade. This is the reshade used by Gamma since the 0.9 update. I'll be using this reshade as a control reshade to compare the other reshades against. I personally like the look of this reshade and was using it before it was added to Gamma. By the way, these are the specs of my computer. Performance may vary with different computer specs, so take the performance test with a pinch of salt. Next reshade is Expedition. This reshade drastically changes how the game looks, giving it a more cinematic look. Performance wise, you're looking at about a 5 to 15 FPS drop, except for the underground area, which somehow managed to be 7 FPS faster. For installation, this mod is quite hard to install, as it requires using the EXD framework, which takes a bit of setup to get working, but personally I didn't have any issues. Next up is the Zone Reality Pack for Gamma. This mod combines multiple texture packs as well as a reshade to change the look of the game. Due to these changes however, the performance impact of this pack is one of the greatest. Installation wise, this mod is quite simple, only requiring moving a few files around. Last reshade I will cover is Aggressor. This reshade does have a hit on the performance, but it isn't the worst. It is also easy to install, again only requiring moving files around. Ну привет. If you are getting tired of the old models in the game, but don't like the look of HD models, then you may like the KVMAS and Asterix model merge. This mod replaces all the character models in the game with higher quality and more fitting ones, at least in my opinion. If you think the effects in this game are quite lacking, then you may want to look at Hollywood FX. Like the name suggests, this mod will crank all the effects in the game to the max, from bullet impacts to explosions. This will come at a slight cost of performance however.
The Arrivals mod unfortunately flew under my radar when it was released, and it's a shame I missed it. This mod makes all the anomalies in the game look like they're from Stalker 2. Just take a look for yourself. Last mod I'll cover is Project Inverno. Since winter is coming up, I thought I would share a mod that I always use in the winter. This mod will cover the zone in snow and replace weathers like rain with snow. An unintentional effect of this is it actually makes stalkers easier to see as they're more contrasted against the snow. So that was some of the mods that you can use to make your game look better. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for future content. If you have any questions, come ask me when I'm live on Twitch, link is in the description. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Oh, and there's this mod that fixes here.